Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and I just wanted to bring you some coverage from the third Republican debate, uh, this time hosted by NBC News, um, and they did a much better job than Fox did. It was it, I was able to stream it right on my phone, um, and it was much more accessible. I, I thought they did a much better job. But the good news is Vivek Ramaswamy absolutely destroyed all opponents uh, in the in the debate and absolutely won the debate. And right now I want to talk about, well, you know, th these debates are like, what is the memorable line, right? How are you differentiating yourself? And I felt like Vivek Ramaswamy just absolutely virtually slaughtered every opponent on the, on the stage with one line. And that was build both walls, right? So one thing that is true, and what he meant by that is he's like, no Fenty's getting in America. And he had a lot of incredible language around this, powerful language. Um, and frankly, I have to say, um, language that is reminiscent of Trump. I would ne I never voted for Donald Trump. I'll never, I would, I never voted for Donald Trump. I will never vote for Donald Trump. But I have a degree in political science. And I can tell you right now, he has changed politics forever. And he's definitely changed political speech forever. So, um, and honestly, you can't move forward now if you don't if you don't control the media right and 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 Trump's speech pattern controls the media it, he just he grabs the no the ring in the nose of the media and just yanks them around so so everybody is trying to match that speech now if they're if they're paying attention if they're doing it right that's what they're trying to accomplish right and build both walls is better than is a better line than Trump ever said but it's also genuine here is your reminder uh, it's all it's also, it's also genuine. Autumn, here is your reminder. Sorry. <laughs> so it's also genuine, and it's uh, in that he. Oh, so the, the language he used around build both walls was absolutely brilliant. So what he what he said. This is listen to this. He's like, if you send, uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing here, but you check out the you you could, you could see the video up right. He essentially what he's saying, you send a you send a a even a small amount of Fenty into America, what you're really doing is you're a bioterrorist. If you move if you mule it, if you sell it, if you manufacture it, if you distribute it, if you traffic it, you're a bioterrorist. That's brilliant. That is brilliant speech. And I think that absolutely like and like well, you're like, oh Scott, isn't that kind of strong speech? Um when Vietnam soldiers returned from Vietnam in America. They were, you know, they were, you know, spit on and cursed at by hippies uh, who, you know, really took it to them. And it's the same people who are, you know, um, really kind of not being fair today, right? But 50,000 50, 50, American soldiers died in the Vietnam War, right? Last year, 70,000 died from Fenty. Right, like and and Vivek is like we're not letting it happen anymore, right? And so he said, "Build both walls." He's like, "We will build the wall." So he's saying he's gonna he's gonna do, and this is this is brilliant, right? Because he's gonna do what Trump couldn't. He's gonna do what Trump lied about. Build that wall is what got him elected. He didn't build nothing. <laughs> like yeah, that's the probably like he built nothing, right? Like so. So one, Vivek saying, I will fulfill the lies that Trump told you, right? But he's also saying it, but I'm going to do it in a fair and equitable way. He's like, we're going to build a wall on the south and we're going to build a wall on the north because it's coming in from both sides. And because he's a person of color, he wants to be fair. He's saying, hey, let's build a wall on every border right like and that's that's brilliant it is absolutely brilliant and it puts him and it just in one simple line he's like i am a person of color so of course i'm gonna put i'm just not gonna put a wall like down where people of color live right and then let, let and let the entire northern border just like everything gets trucked in like right? he's like and that's that's why vivek matters that is why we where we we are where we are right now that is incredible that is incredible that is incredible like that is that is the whole ball of wax baby like that is absolutely astounding okay
And so that's really amazing. And I, I really feel like that is truly, you know, he won. That was the strongest line of the night. And so Vivek Ramaswamy defeated Ron DeSantis, defeated Nikki Haley, defeated Tim Scott, defeated, uh, let me get my note by notes here. Um, oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's Christy. <laughs> A waste of space. <laughs> Why was he even there? Uh, yeah. Um, he just, he absolutely wrecked, right? And he, he performed extremely well, did an amazing job, did what he needed to, and won the entire debate with one line. Build both walls, right? That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Vivek Ramaswamy defeats all foes. Does exactly what Trump used to do. Showed up, showed out, showed up on the floor, wiped the floor. That's exactly what Trump used to do. And now he can't because he's a coward and he's incapable. And he cannot do what a 38-year-old man does because he's 80, right? And if you've been paying attention, people who are 80 right now are struggling to say sentences, right? We're looking at it every single day, right? And actually struggling to say stay, struggling to complete sentences is the good 80 year old life. Dianne Feinstein has shown us the bad part of it, right? Let's elect somebody who's not, who, 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 see, President Biden, they're, they're promising he, you can, he can rule for, you know, for, um, for four years. I'm not sure he can make it for another four years, right? So get somebody who's actually going to live through the term, right? That's what, and Vivek Ramaswamy can absolutely do that. In fact, he's the most capable of doing that of anybody on that stage. And so um, I, I'm just super proud of him, and I think he did a great job. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.